Hi, and welcome to another episode of Sustainment TV. I'm your host, David McDonald, and before we get into today's video, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It all helps the channel grow, helps me to be able to improve what I do, give some variety. Without further delay, let's get right into today's video. Today's video features another installment into the cooking series. Had a chance to do something fun, something different. Hope you uh, get a kick out of it. Hope you enjoy. All right, welcome to my kitchen. And today I will be putting a new twist on a classic dish. Yes, meatballs. Not just any meatballs though. I'm calling these Indiana Jones meatballs. Cue the cheesy movie clip. All right, so the reason why I'm calling these Indiana Jones meatballs is because I'm using alligator meat and I'm using camel. And to bind it together, I'll blend in some turkey. The portions that I'm preparing, this will be for approximately eight servings. With this particular recipe, I'm using two pounds of meat. If you wanted to do just four servings, you know, a, uh, a smaller, you, you would basically just cut everything in half. Let's go ahead and get this started. Okay have a pound of ground turkey, I have a pound of alligator meat, and I've got about half a pound of uh, camel hot dogs. The hot dogs and the alligator meat, they are whole, they are not, um, they're currently not ground, so I'm gonna get a chance to use my new toy, uh, my meat grinder. For what we're preparing today, I'm making enough for eight servings. It's gonna involve two eggs, two and a half pounds of meat, half a cup of milk, a teaspoon of salt, one cup of breadcrumbs, half teaspoon of pepper, and one medium onion chopped up. So I'm gonna get that started and I'll hit you back in just a second. Okay, so the turkey is already in ground form. However, the camel, I have half a pound of hot dogs and I have whole alligator meat. So what I need to do is I'm gonna chop it up and I'm actually gonna run it through my new toy, the meat grinder. So this is gonna be fun, this is gonna be fun. I'll cut the ends off with the hot dogs like so. Before you grind the gator up, try to remove any fat. For those of you that may not have had gator before, it's my opinion it has the consistency of pork. It kind of gets lumped in with um, the seafood category because you know it's, it is a, a water animal. The times that I've eaten gator, it definitely put me in the mind of pork. Just a little trivia, which uh, Indiana Jones features not actually it features crocodiles instead of alligators but it's the loose reference the the loose connection that i'm making do y'all remember which indiana jones movie that was from ah if you said raiders of the lost ark you're right actually no it's tem it's uh the temple of doom ah see I'm, i had to catch myself i said wait a minute yep indiana jones and the temple of doom using utensils in your kitchen. Make sure that you're being uh, careful. All right, so this should be, this should be gratifying. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a uh, one medium onion. We're gonna add that to the mix. And then after cutting up the onion, I'll add the one cup of breadcrumbs, the half cup milk, two eggs, salt and pepper. Okay, as you can see, I've combined the milk, the eggs, the onions, and the breadcrumbs. So what I'm gonna do, I want to do a good job of blending all the ingredients. Now while we're doing this, I'm preheating the oven at 400 degrees, and I also have a pan that's lined with aluminum foil and um, spray some uh, oil on the foil as well to help prevent sticking. So 
So I'm gonna give this a good mix. Work on this consistency, give it a good mix. Be right back with you. Okay, so we have prepared the meatball mixture into actual meatballs. I did some small, um, small size and some large size. Um, like I said, you know, this is more than the standard uh, amount, so a little cumbersome, but you know, can be fun and whatnot. I uh, have uh, one note for the onion. You want to make sure that you mince them up into very, very small pieces. That's a, a lesson learned for me. It's been forever since I've done meatballs and I'm hoping that a lot of it cooks down. We'll see how this thing turns out. So I'm gonna bake these at 400 degrees for 20 to 22 minutes and we'll see what they look like in the end. Okay, so we have let these cook in the oven for 22 minutes at 400 degrees and we are now about to cut one after it's been cooling for about five minutes and see how it is. Ooh, I can tell it's still a little hot. Okay, good color on the inside. There's no, uh, no pink, which, you know, we wanted to avoid that, obviously. Mmm. It actually came out pretty good. The one thing that I will do next time, I'll cut the amount of onion that I used in half, so I'll go with a quarter cup of onion. And also what I'll do is I'll make sure that it's, that I mince it properly. Mmm, that's pretty good. Let me, um, I'm gonna knock this one out right quick. The way that I plan on using these, I'm gonna use these in spaghetti. But, you know, if you wanted to use them for you know, a party favor, give them a courtesy and say, hey, try something different. Take this time, experiment in your kitchen. You can put a new twist on an old classic. Feel free to leave your comments on new dishes that you may have tried or maybe you want to see me try something first before you do it. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I always like to try some out of the ordinary things in the kitchen. So uh, if you have any suggestions on what dish I should try next, feel free to hit me up with your suggestions. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.